Hey, I'm Alex with Custom Tool Supply, and in this video, we're going to explain how to select the right tool tethers for your hand and power tools. By now, you surely know what tool tethers are and the impact they have on protecting lives on the job site, but awareness isn't enough. We all wear fall protection and PPE to protect ourselves, but what about protecting others around us? In 2018 alone, there were over 50,000 dropped object incidents recorded by OSHA. And who knows how many unrecorded incidents? On top of that, almost 600 of those incidents resulted in a fatality. But what also happened in 2018 was the introduction of a new standard developed by ANSI and ISEA to address dropped object prevention solutions. This standard, ANSI 121-2018, establishes design, performance, testing, and labeling requirements for dropped object solutions in industrial and occupational settings. Since then, OSHA has recognized and adopted those standards and tool tethering has taken off like wildfire. So now that you're required to tether your tools on a job site, where do you even begin? Well, a good place to start is the three T's of tool tethering. Trapped, tethered, and topped. First, let's start with trapped. This refers to the actual connection point that you install on your tool. These can be further classified as one-step or two-step applications. Your one-step tool traps include things like shackles, tape measure traps, or power tool traps and things like these squids hand tool traps that require one simple step to secure the tool within. Two-step traps refer to items like these web tool tails that require tape to secure them to the tool. First, make sure your tool tail has the correct rated capacity for your tool. This can be found on the tag. Then, using the instructions provided, measure out the correct amount of tape. Securely wrap it around the tool and tail, making sure to leave the rated capacity tag exposed. Moving on to the second T, which is tethered. This refers to the actual tether you use to connect the tool to your person or to a structure. These come in a huge variety of styles and configuration, but the most important thing to consider is the weight capacity of the tether. Now, to avoid huge tangles or rat's nests, it's advised that you only use two tethers at a time while keeping the rest of your tools in a topped closing bag or on short tethers within your bag. So in order to decide which two tool tethers you need, take the most commonly used tool and match the tether to that. Then, find your heaviest tool and match the other tether to it. So for example, say your most commonly used tool is a hammer that weighs one and a half pounds. Find a tether rated for two pounds and keep it attached to that hammer. Then, let's say the heaviest tool in your kit is an impact driver weighing four and a half pounds. Match a tether to it that's rated five pounds and that should cover every tool in your kit that weighs less. Just for a disclaimer, most tool tether manufacturers recommend against attaching tools weighing over five pounds directly to your body. Those should be attached to a structure. Finally, the last T is topped. This refers to tool bags that have the ability to be sealed on the top, preventing the contents from spilling out in case it's bumped or tipped over. We carry a huge selection of bags and buckets from various manufacturers that have this topped feature. Now, we just covered a lot regarding tool tethering, so if you're more confused now than you were at the start of this video, don't worry, because we carry a ton of industry-specific kits from leaders in tool tethering solutions like Ergodyne. We've covered these kits in previous videos, but in short, they contain all the tethering equipment you need for the most commonly used tools in your industry. The nice thing about these is you don't have to create a complicated order for little bits and pieces. Just select the kit for your industry and trust that you'll receive all the tethers you need to stay safe and compliant. If you need help implementing tool tethering into your safety program, don't hesitate to give our gear experts a call and we'll work directly with you to create the perfect tethering solution for your job. Or visit us at Custom Tool Supply to check out all of our tool tethering solutions for yourself. And stay up to date with everything we're doing this year by subscribing to our YouTube channel and following us on all our social media channels.